Hi guys, Roman Sliders here, bringing you this review of El Shaddai, Ascension of the Metatron. This became one of my favourite games in 2011, not least because of its varied gameplay, mixing 3D and 2D mechanics. Having studied theology at university, I also enjoyed the story, being based on an apocryphal book of the Bible. This game also has some of the best graphics I've ever seen in a video game. Well, I hope you enjoy this review of El Shaddai. Ascension of the Metatron. El Shaddai Ascension of the Metatron is an action and adventure game for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, released in 2011 and is developed and published by Ignition Entertainment. The story is inspired by the apocryphal Book of Enoch and centres around Enoch, a priest who must seek out and purify seven fallen angels in order to prevent a flood from destroying mankind. On his journey, he is aided by Lucifer, a guardian angel who is in charge of protecting the world, and by the four archangels, Raphael, Michael, Gabriel, and Uriel. El Shaddai is a third-person action-adventure game, which mixes 3D and 2D gameplay. At the start of the game, Enoch is unarmed, but has the ability to steal weapons from his enemies, purifying them for his use. There are three primary weapons in the game that give Enoch special abilities. The first is the Arch, a curved bow-like blade which allows Enoch to float temporarily in the air. The second is the Gale, a ring-like weapon that provides Enoch with a quick dash ability, making him more agile and has the power to fire small dark projectiles in rapid succession, making it the fastest weapon in the game. As Enoch uses these weapons, they get weaker and become corrupted, turning into a dull black colour, and so must be routinely purified. Similar to games like Mega Man, each weapon is more effective against a certain type of enemy. For instance, the Veil is best suited for larger enemies, as it can deliver powerful attacks while providing a robust defence, while in comparison, the Gale is better suited to smaller enemies, who are in larger volumes. Since you can fire projectiles at a greater frequency, the attacks are handled with just one button, which must be used in a rhythmic pattern in order to perform the strongest combinations of attacks. I was initially sceptical of this seemingly shallow combat system, however, as I played through the game, I gained a deeper appreciation of the careful timing that must be utilised in order to get the most out of Enoch's attacks, particularly on higher difficulties, where mistimed attacks cost dearly. The rhythmic one-button system, in conjunction with the individual abilities of the three weapons, allows you to perform some visually impressive combos that is enough to take out the majority of enemies. One obvious thing about this game is how beautiful it looks. By choosing an anime-style art direction over, say, a more realistic presentation, Ignition have been able to run wild with their imagination, creating incredible landscapes and colourful scenes which create a world full of mystery and intrigue. I really think this is the way forward for the evolution of video game graphics. An animated art style simply allows you to create worlds full of character and personality, in a way that so-called realistic graphics cannot. Video games ought to be about escapism, and a highly colourful art design certainly allows the player to get lost in the game. Development for El Shaddai began in 2007 under the original title of Angelic, Ascension of the Metatron, headed by Takeyasu Sawukai, the character designer on Devil May Cry. The game was first shown at the E3 2010 press conference, as well as the Tokyo Game Show, and was met with a positive response. Music was composed by Masato Koda and Kento Haskawa, and is as varied as the gameplay, with compositions ranging from heavenly chorus to upbeat techno, suiting the mood of each level as well as underlining the importance of Enoch's mission. The mix of 3D action and 2D platforming creates a varied mix of gameplay that helps break up the structure of each level, which I found as one of the game's most attractive qualities. In addition, there is a Tron-inspired motorbike race across a futuristic world, which gives yet more variation in the game. The player's health is governed by Enoch's armor strength. As you take damage, you can see pieces of armor breaking off until Enoch is bare-chested. You can't actually die in this game, instead the screen slowly fades away as you enter into a death-like state, where you have to hit the buttons on the controller repeatedly until Enoch is revived. I thought this was a clever innovation for the health mechanics, although each time you enter into this death-like state, it takes longer for Enoch to revive. This leads to another criticism I have with this game, which is that you take damage too easily, especially when you have to fight the fallen angels. 
I thought they were a little too powerful, and I could rarely beat them on the first try, even on the easier difficulty settings, meaning you have to rely on your wits and cunning to defeat them, which is of course not a bad thing. The story can be a bit confusing, as Enoch travels through time to confront the fallen angels and prevent the destruction of mankind, but it is engaging and keeps the player engrossed in the action. El Shaddai, Ascension of the Metatron, is a special and unique game. By blending different forms of gameplay together, Ignition have created a game that stands by itself, with its visually arresting art style one of the many reasons why people should play this game. It is a truly original and excellent game. Well that was my review of El Shaddai, Ascension of the Metatron. If you like what you saw, please leave a comment in the section below and share your thoughts on El Shaddai, rate this video, and if you're new to my work, please subscribe to my channel. Well, until next time, peace out guys.